Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the text to speech and say blocks to make your character say something aloud while the speech bubble is saying the exact same thing. If you learned something from this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the like or thumbs up button below. And if you want to see future videos of mine show up in your subscription feed, make sure to subscribe also. When you start a new project, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the extensions and include text-to-speech. So now that you have the text-to-speech blocks available on your palette, you can type some text in here and the character can say it. So I'm going to play this block. Hello. And the character says it out loud. But in addition to actually saying it, we want our character to be able to say it with the speech bubble. So for example, if you were to connect these two blocks, the say block, hello for two seconds, and then have the speak block attached to it, when you run it, it's going to say hello for two hello. seconds, and then you'll hear it. But if we want both to play simultaneously, we'll have to break them apart. We'll have to run this code in parallel, basically. So we can use the same event. Let's use the when green flag is clicked event for both of these. So that way, when I click the green flag, the sprite will say hello, and we'll see the speech bubble hello at the same time. Hello. Now let's see what happens if we add more speech bubbles. Hello, how was your day? Do you like basketball? As you can see, the text and the speech is not in sync. So what you're going to have to do is go into the control palette, and you're going to have to add some weight blocks in between the speech. The difficulty here is that you're going to have to time exactly how long it takes them to say a specific thing. So hello might be quick, so you might want to wait 1.2 seconds or 1.3 seconds in between saying, how was your day? Hello. How was your day? Do you like basketball? So unfortunately, you're going to have to use trial and error to get it working in this manner. If you don't want to use trial and error to try to figure out the timings in between phrases, there is another way to accomplish this task, using broadcast and event blocks. But I'm going to save that for the next video. Thanks for watching.